We've had this conversation And you seem to agree with me But when there's complications You withdraw and leave me to be When there's a problem You become like a wall And every time I trip It's a free fall Why don't you have guys welcome back to my channel today I've got a filthy car that is going to get some TLC using the cleaning products we all have lying around our houses if you're new here my name is Tess and I live in Atlanta with my husband Samir and our three feline friends baby lobster Pungy, and Huey I'm an elementary school teacher so my car has just been sitting in our driveway for the last two months as I've been teaching from home and as you can see it's horrendous I clean my house regularly, but my car is just one of those things that is easily neglected. I did this over two days, and on the first day I started by giving my car a preliminary wash with some really hot water and Mrs. Meyer's multi-surface concentrate and the basil scent, and then I'll get rid of the majority of the dirt and gunk. car about three years ago when I moved to Atlanta from Washington DC and I distinctly remember the day Samir and I picked it up from the dealership. It was my very first car and I hadn't driven on any major highways before so I was terrified to drive at home on one of Atlanta's six lane highways. I asked Samir if he would do it but he said I had to get over my fear of Atlanta driving quickly and boy was he right. Needless to say, I was the one in the driver's seat on 85 South, and we made it home safely. Next day, I wanted to tackle the sap spots that were all over the hood of my car. Our house is surrounded by beautiful trees, but that means some crazy stubborn sap and pollen spots were left behind after the preliminary wash. I found that a toothbrush was the perfect tool for the job because it was abrasive enough to break down the sap and pollen, but gentle enough to protect the paint.
the inside of the door. Ew. So I'm gonna get that all scrubbed out first, scrubbed and rinsed, and then we'll start kind of tackling the inside. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go. Cause every time I try, you find a loophole. I've been slamming the door and just leave you go. When I come back, you've heated up the south. towels instead of my microfiber cloths to clean the windows because I knew the windows were just completely filthy. I also tried vacuuming out the floor and rugs with my handheld vacuum cleaner but it just wasn't strong enough so I'll get it vacuumed out at the gas station sometime soon. It might have taken me two days, guys, but my cart is sparkling clean, and I didn't have to buy any fancy car cleaning products to do it. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when my next video hits. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time, happy cleaning! Happy cleaning!